You're going to need a few things to burst a water balloon. First, you're going to need a balloon filled with water, as you see here. You're going to need a way to suspend the balloon in midair. Our solution to this was to use a clamp. We use this clamp, pretty good grip and power. We usually double knot the balloons. And then we have a ratchet strap suspended from the ceiling that we simply hook on to the clamp, which holds the balloon. And this works very well. The ratchet strap, you can move up or you can move down to get that balloon just at the right height you need it. Lower, the better. And that comes to our next little segment. You're gonna be messy. Water's gonna get on the floor no matter what you do, so be prepared. Enter the kiddie pool. The kiddie pool catches about 80 to 85% of all the water from the balloons. After you burst about eight or nine balloons, you're gonna have a couple inches of water in this kiddie pool. It sounds kind of crazy, but that's how it ends up. So be sure that you've got something to catch the water underneath it. And then we do it on a concrete floor so that it's okay, we can squeegee it off and right out the garage door and not worry too much about it. The last thing we'll need is a black background. We've got about $3 invested in some really thin, cheap tablecloths from a big box store. So we just suspended them from the ceiling, overlapping, we've got our black background. So when you, when you are shooting this, you wanna be sure your camera is opposite the black background. That way you take a good picture and get that nice black look uh, on the photo.